crying all day, you know, so, yeah, it's, it's one day at a time, one minute by minute. A little girl is still in critical condition tonight following a vicious pit bull attack. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis Fuller. Well, tonight, the six-year-old's mother is speaking out about witnessing that attack, but she also has a strong faith that her little girl will survive. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa is live for us tonight outside Children's Hospital with a story you'll see only on WLWT. Tammy? Curtis, I just talked to Zaina Boudrame's mom here at Children's Hospital. She says the little girl is still in an induced coma waiting for surgery. Her mom is praying and is asking for your prayers as well. I'm, you know, crying, upset because her face is, is unrecognizable. You know? Tanina Drame is holding on to her faith life, and strength. Life, okay, her six year old daughter, Zaina Boo, was mauled to the brink of death by two pit bulls. You see officers rushing to the rescue on Aquadale Street within minutes. Her family says the attack was so vicious, her jaw was almost completely ripped off and her tongue is gone. Tanina, her father, and the family's dog jumped in to fight off the dogs. But when I came out there, you know, I saw that dog, you know, on her face and I ran back in the house. I got the bat because I knew where the, the metal bat was and I just start. I just started hitting that dog until I just I couldn't hit him no more, and it was one right here. When police officers arrived, they separated both dogs from the young girl, then shot them. One officer stayed by Zainabu's side until the ambulance arrived. Faith, you know, I'm not gonna say, oh, this might, you know, she's gonna, she's gonna get better, you know, and be here. Now, Officer Kyle Strunk also told me that all four officers are praying for the family. He says the family's strength is inspiring to them. Reporting live from Children's Hospital, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. All right, thanks a lot, Tammy. The dog owner, Zante Irby, lives just five doors down from the victim. No charges have been filed against him in relation to this attack, but he was arrested and is facing drugs and weapons charges.